Hi everybody. I've been showing little sneak peeks of something that I've been making with fabric and it is finally finished and I'm able to share it with you guys. So I really love how this turned out and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, it was inspired by Tisha Moore. I'm part of her... Actually, I don't know. It may be just on her blog for anybody to see. Because I'm thinking her um, Artstronaut, or however you say it, that club, I think that may just be for printables. So this may be visible for everybody to see. I'm not sure. But it's... Um, like I said, it was inspired by her, but it doesn't look like hers. Um, the ways in which they're similar, um, they're both made of fabric, and they have pockets. <laughs> hers is um, amazing, and I don't have the things that she has. Like, she had fabric made from her like journal pages and stuff so the fabric she has is absolutely amazing of course because it has her artwork which makes it so beautiful hers also she had like this flap the front was shorter than the rest and it kind of like went up as you went that way it kind of got bigger and it was like curvy and Basically, what I took from hers was making a fabric organizer. So I watched her video, and and she didn't show how to make it. She just showed what hers looked like. And so once I saw that, I'm like, yeah, I want to make one. And then this is my version of it. I wanted it to have like a raw look to it. I actually made and like a, an edge of binding all the way around and actually had sewn it on. So it had like a finished look all around the tops. And I made it in this yellow fabric. And I attached it all and it was not easy <laughs> and when it was all done I actually didn't like it and once I took it off and I just sewed around it and left it raw like this and messy I just loved it so much more so this I finished last night all I had left to do basically was attach this um, color wheel as um, you've seen on my Instagram the fabric color wheel I made, I decided to attach it to this. And I made this last night. And it's just all the fabrics that I used in the album. I cut it in rectangles and attached them all. <laughs> it was tedious. And I folded it over so you get it on both sides. And again, I've left it raw and messy. And you have the threads. And honestly, I just... I like it this way. When I was making it neat, I wasn't enjoying it. But as soon as I let that go and made it more messy, I started to love it. So here I just have this little tab. And maybe I'll get closer so you can see it. Like there's little bits of fabric that were scraps or that I cut. Like there's triangles and strips and once I started like piecing them like I want to say paper piecing because it reminds me of paper once I started doing that stuff it started to feel like mine like something I made you've seen this on my Instagram sorry I'm not in my usual setup here <laughs> I'm actually in my bedroom because my son is on the computer which is the room right next door to my art room and it was a bit too loud so 
and I wanted to get this done so I could show you guys. So this is what you've seen on Instagram. All the piecing and quilting like of the fabric. This, um, there was actually a piece of fabric that I got that had a whole bunch of different things on it. Um, like this cat and it had a bunny rabbit and a moon and clouds and a mountain and it was like all different pieces that I think you're actually meant to make something of it maybe. I'm not sure what but I just cut it all out and I only used a couple of the pieces I think so I have all the rest for other projects. And again I kind of did it like I would collage just adding bits, leaving little flaps here and there. So you're not going to be able to get the whole thing on camera at one time because it folds out. So it'll fold like that or unfold. And I have more of that fish pattern that I love. Here's a pocket and another pocket and this one And here's another pocket. And that beautiful fish pattern that I love. And that's a pocket. And that one's a pocket. So then we fold it again. You've seen that. And then this, oh, you saw that. Here's the back. <laughs> so that's another piece that was with that cat. And it's hard to see against the black, but there are little stars. That's part of it as well. So now I will put the stuff in there. Like when I made this, I had, I had planned it out what I wanted to put in there. Not to say it's the only thing that can go in there, but I made it specifically for what I wanted. But the pockets are big enough that if I change my mind, I can put different things in there. So that one I have for a notebook. And this is just like the notepad, you know, you can get everywhere. So I thought I would just use that. Slip that in there so there's always like a notepad ready to go. And this, my intentions, I mean, you could use it for another notebook, but my thoughts I'm sorry if I'm covering the screen with my arms. But my thoughts were that I could put pens in there. And in this one, I have my planner. And this one I started, but I haven't continued. It was going to be like a, like a daily sketch, journal type thing, but I haven't continued with it. I'm hoping if I put all the things that I want to be grabbing daily in the one thing, then maybe I'll do it. And this is a food tracker, so I can try and get on track with my health. So as you see, it just folds up. just have that to wrap around. So that is my fabric organizer. And I just love it. I do. I put batting in between the layers of fabric so it has that quilted feel. And I just love it. I'll take some pictures where the video may not be great. I will take some pictures so you can get some closer look at some areas and include those at the end of the video. Hope you like it as much as I do. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.
much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.